Today, I am gonna show you how to make keto cinnamon rolls in 90 seconds. 90 seconds just refers to the cook time on these cinnamon rolls, but still from start to finish, these are only gonna take you about five minutes, maybe even a little less. Now, the reason I love this recipe so much is because usually cinnamon rolls require you to commit to eating or sharing like six, eight, 10 cinnamon rolls. Also, cinnamon rolls usually take 45 minutes to an hour to make if you're making them from scratch. This recipe changes all that though because we're only gonna be making one individual cinnamon roll. It's gonna have less than five net carbs and from start to finish, like I said, less than five minutes to make this thing. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into it, make this recipe. First things first, we're gonna get out our food scale and a small dish, and we're gonna measure out a half a tablespoon or seven grams of unsalted butter. When we've done that, we're gonna pop that dish in the microwave for around 10-ish seconds just to quickly melt the butter, and then we're gonna get out an egg and separate the yolk from the white. So, once we've got that yolk separated, we're gonna add that to a medium-sized bowl, along with a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and then we're also going to add the melted butter as well. And that's actually all the liquid ingredients to today's low-carb keto cinnamon rolls recipe. So as you're seeing here, we're just gonna quickly whisk those together until they're combined, and then we're gonna start adding the dry ingredients for our keto cinnamon roll. The first thing we're gonna add is going to be some blanched almond flour. I like to use this one from Kirkland's, and almond flour is actually the base ingredient to this cinnamon roll mug cake recipe. So having said that, we're gonna add a half a cup or 56 grams of it to our bowl. Next, we're gonna sweeten up the recipe in a totally low carb, keto friendly way. And we're gonna do that by using confectioner swerve. So as you're seeing here, we're gonna add three tablespoons or 25 grams of it to our bowl for today's recipe. By the way, do not substitute Swerve with Stevia because Stevia is way sweeter than Swerve and your keto cinnamon rolls will not turn out properly. Anyways, the next thing we're gonna add is xanthan gum and this stuff is super important to getting the right texture and consistency of a legit cinnamon roll. And if you don't add this stuff, just expect your keto cinnamon roll to be more on the crumbly side. Having said that, a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum goes a long way and that's what we'll be using for today's recipe. We're also gonna add a heaping quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt. So now at this point, we can get out our spatula and mix all of our ingredients together until a crumbly consistency forms. Once it does, we wanna use our hands to form a ball of dough and collect any straggling pieces of dough off the sides of the bowl. All right, so that's looking pretty good. We're now going to get out a piece of parchment paper and add the ball of dough to it. And we're using the parchment paper because it makes it much easier to press the keto cinnamon roll dough out. And if you don't use it, the dough can be quite sticky and a pain in the butt to press out. Having said that, we wanna press the dough out until it's about eight inches long and only about an inch wide. It should be very thin. So when we've got something that looks like this, that's when we're gonna quickly coat it with baking spray and then sprinkle some cinnamon on top of it. Last but not least, we'll wanna get out some brown swerve, which is a keto-friendly substitute for brown sugar, but it has no calories and no net carbs. So like I said, it's totally keto approved and we're gonna add a half a tablespoon or six grams of it to make the inside filling of our keto cinnamon roll. So. Once we've pressed the swerve down into the dough, we can go ahead and roll our cinnamon roll up. And don't worry if the dough cracks a little bit when you do this, because you can always just smooth it out with your fingers after it's rolled up. Now at this point, we can go ahead and get out our favorite mug. I like this one. And then we're gonna coat it with some baking spray and add our low carb cinnamon roll to the inside of it. And when we've got that in there, we're gonna cook it in our microwave for somewhere between 60 to 90 seconds, depending on the power of our microwave. However, if you don't wanna cook your keto cinnamon roll in the microwave, it'll only take about 15 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. And of course, when it comes out of the oven, you're gonna to wanna to let that cool down completely in the ramkin you cooked it in. Having said that, while the cinnamon rolls are cooling down, we'll wanna get started on making the glaze. The glaze for the keto cinnamon roll is very simple to make. All we're gonna do is add a tablespoon or nine grams of confectioner swerve to a small dish along with three quarters of a teaspoon or six grams of heavy cream. Then we're just gonna mix those together until a thick, creamy consistency forms. Once it does, we can go ahead and add the glaze to the top of our keto cinnamon roll and then check out how awesome this turns out. Seriously, it's so good and I cannot wait for you guys to try it. As always, for more info on today's keto cinnamon roll mug cake recipe, check out the video description below and I hope you like it. 